fresh new episode of In Conversation With and today we are here at the sprawling campus of Candor International School, Bangalore and we have with us the founder and the chairman of the school, Dr. Suresh Reddy. Hello sir, welcome to our show. Thank you. So sir, tell us something that you've been associated with the IT industry and several MNCs over more than two decades now. So how has that journey been? Thank you. But uh, with my background, uh, myself uh, as a software engineer, I started my journey uh, as a software engineer. Then uh, I got into uh, US with uh, some job. So I worked for uh, 10 years. Later, you know, I wanted to start my own business. I'm a kind of a you know, risk taker, so I just want to start a business. So then I started uh, my own business in IT technology and consulting. So later I got into the business for 10 years, then I really grown from one employee to 100 employees in five years. Wonderful. Yeah. Then I, I had a passion, you know, towards education and I want to give back something to my country, that is India. Okay. So I was wondering about, you know, starting the international school in Bangalore where I have studied and it's such a big city and uh, the bank is the IT hub. It's so much diversity also in Bangalore. So when I thought of you know starting an international school in Bangalore. So it, to start with, you know, it, I mean, living in US as an entrepreneur and you know, uh, and setting up something in India, it, it's, it's a lot of challenges. So it took me some time and to get into ground level and start thinking about it how to start a business So, so yeah. what has the motto been behind starting an educational institution since you come from the MNC and IT background? Motto is, it's, it's, uh, it's more than anything, it's a passion, you know. I, I've, I've studied, studied here, then I went to US, and I've seen the education systems in US and how the education works in India. So it's, I wanted to give back something to society and I want to bring the international flavor to Indian students where some of them living in abroad, some of them living in India. So that, that's kind of mojo, you know. So sir, you're the founder and chairman of Candor International School. So what has the vision been behind setting up Candor International School and how is it different and unique from other campuses in Bangalore? The vision for Candor came from my own experience where I have studied in India and I've been in the US for a you know, job. So I just want to make sure the Indian kids, they get some international exposure and one of the main objective of Canada is to nurture kids into global education and also to make them aware of community and environment. Where you can see the camp campus here, it's a 20 acre campus, it's a pollution free, where you have only like 10% of the place has been occupied and rest 90% is open. Oh, wonderful. And where we can have our own uh, dye here, and we can have our own organic farm here, where you can, kids can see that where the vegetables are coming from, all the nice. thing happens in-house. So, Absolutely, when I was walking and I did have a look at, you know, it, it gave me that welcoming feeling when yeah. I was coming and I, I saw some ducks around. Yeah, it, was, it was very pleasant. Yeah, it's a lot of animals here, a lot of plants. We have close to like around 3,000 plants here. Oh, wonderful. So we can have mangoes, bananas, papayas. So in the, uh, the early years itself, kids can see that, you know, where the fruits are coming from and where the kids are coming from. So this is a message for parents, so parents who want their kids to actually know because these days organic farming is very popular. So Candor International is the place where your kids should be studying it. Being a single platform that integrated for the best of technology for online and you being the director and CEO of it. So can you throw some light on it? The long beyond is uh, LMS, is a learning management software where kids can learn and kids can teach and parents and teachers they can sit in sit at home or sit at you know at their you know backyard and they can uh, view the students results the students homework and their class you know activities from the home or anywhere in the world this is what main motto of learn beyond 
something uh, about the education system that we have in India and abroad and what's your vision on that? The Gander International School we have started with international curriculum that's called IB International Baccalaureate and the Cambridge, you know, IGCSC where the IB is accepted more than like you know, 150 countries in the world and Cambridge also accepted more than 150 countries in the world where we can see our Indian curriculum like CBSC, ICSC, where you can see accepted only in India. And you know, where we, where, you know, we were kids, you know, we don't have really choice. So now the, there's so much happening in the world, there's so much, you know, international curriculums are accepted. So I just want to give so much exposure to the kids so they can have so much choice. When we were kids, there's no choice for us. At least I want to give the choice to the students and to the parents where they can get so much exposure to the world and, you know. Definitely, sir. So tell me one thing, what would be that one major change that is required in education is what you feel? I feel, you know, there's there so much diversity happening in overall world. So, so I wanted that you know diversity to show in the school, you know, rather just say international school. I want them to follow that. Where you can see in Canada, we have kids from you know different countries, and the teachers also from different countries. So some from Singapore, some from US, some from Canada, some from South Korea. So we have all over the world, and there's so much diversity happening in the world. So I wanted all the schools and you know the leaders to just see how we can implement the diversity in the schools, not just saying international schools and you know, rather they can follow the, the standards of international schools and you know, they can implement the diversity in the education system. Absolutely. So on, on that note, the closure one, we are close to the closure of this interview. So on that note, I would like to know that what is that one message you would like to give all our viewers, all our educator friends who are watching this interview? I just want them, you know, uh, the education system where we can talk to kids not just only about education, you know, we, we can talk about overall, you know, all round uh, development where they can get exposure to the sports, to the technology and at the same time they can get exposure about environment, you know, where we have so much expertise need for environment. So I just want them to focus on other areas also, not just only into education or only into curriculum. <laughs> So thank you so much sir. So that was Dr. Suresh Reddy with us. I am glad to be here at his campus and have a conversation with him. And I'm sure friends you also did like this conversation as much as I did talking to him. For more such interesting interviews, do not forget to log on to Education News Network and do not forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.